Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 659 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So this is a special dedication to GX, Gamer Alt with X's instead of A's. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your handle, but this is for you. We've got 20 moves to clear out 108 of the layers of frosting, 64 of the bubblegum pop. Those are going to help us, even though they're blockers. And then collect 100 red. Now what I generally do when I have to collect a color is I completely ignore that. Because if I've done my job and exploded the board a lot and cleared out everything else, hopefully I will have more than 100 red on the board collected naturally. I may pay a bit of attention to it as I get down to about five turns left or if I've cleared everything else out. But right now I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to work on making things that are going to have the biggest impact on this board. And one of the ways to have impact on the board is to situate wrapped down far and to open up these bubblegum pop. And I get to do both of those at this point, although I can't really activate that yet. But watch this, this bubblegum pop is going to activate it, which is going to activate the bubblegum pop, and things are really going to start to open up. This is listed as a nightmarishly hard level, so we need a little bit of luck like that to get things going. All right, so here we go. We're getting it opened, kind of. Now I don't have really great moves. I can go this way, I can go this way. I'm going to go this way. Because there we go, I can get that orange together now. Open more of this stuff up. Oh, here. I like that one. And then we've got these UFOs. And the UFOs are going to have a really nice effect on the board. They will give us three of those wrapped candies to explode in various places. But of course, first we have to access those. So let's keep trying to make moves that take out as much as we possibly can. Uh, I can do this that hits this, but if I do this, it takes this out fully. Or if I do this, I like this best. Generally, I like to make moves low to the ground, but I'm looking for good cascading opportunities. That seemed to be the best one. Now I'll move over here. Oh, here we go. I could do this. Now I can hit this, but if I can find a way to hit it without wasting a turn, that would be better. I could do a stripe here, but it's not really aimed at anything. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to rely on those bubblegum pops still to help me out a bit. Go for some cascading. I only have five moves left. This is not looking great, and I have a lot of work to do. Here, I'm going to go for cascading. See how that orange lined up? And then I think I have to take this. It, it's best if I can do an efficiency of moves, and at least I will. This one will set off this guy but I didn't have enough turns to keep that one going. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at how much difference that makes. Okay. I still have this, and that's a problem. It's off, isolated, on its own. But this is the better move. Oh, and look, that took care of itself. And now, unfortunately, I've gotten to the point where I got almost everything taken care of and I still needed 51 red. So that showed me my presumption that if I did my job, you know, this would take care of itself. But honestly, I didn't do my job. It took me so long to get this done. So I just have to be better about making chaos, making explosions on the board, getting not only specials but combos and using those bubblegum pop to full advantage. So what I'm going to do now is pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off, but when I'm able to successfully complete this, I'll come back through and narrate and tell you about how many tries it took me. Okay, this is the winning one. I'm able to make moves right through the center fairly quickly and get a few extra little explosions here. And now a stripe draft combo. And I think I'm going to go for the ones that have those licorice locks on them. Look at the beautiful bounce we're getting from all of this. I'll make that stripe. Oh, there we go. We got another wrapped. We're getting more things that happen just along the borders. We make a move and on the backswing, we're getting extra benefit here. And so that means I've only got about half of the work left to do 
with about half of the moves left. And that's really important because the second half is easier than the first half. We've gotten things really cleared out. There we go. I've got now a color bomb stripe combo. Probably the best combo we can get on this. Maybe a, a color bomb color bomb combo would be better, but it, it's kind of a toss up and I like that one. And that of course set off those UFOs. So look at this seven moves left and I've gotten almost everything done. It's still those red that are giving me the trouble. So you do need to focus on them, but if you only focus on getting red, you're not gonna get any of the rest of the work done. I'm gonna go for this straight wrapped because I wanted to take out that one frosting that was up higher. And now I can take out everything else that's a barrier and focus specifically on the red. But again, I'm not going to just take out red. I don't have much red on the board. I'm going to make explosive things. I could do stripe. I could do wrapped. I'm going to go for the wrapped. I've got four moves left, nine to take out. It's tough. I'm not getting good things. There we go. Now I've got a color bomb. Notice I'm not focusing on red. I'm focusing on specials. And that's how I'm able to collect those red. So that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. This one did take between five and 10 tries, really close to 10 tries. I think it was on my ninth or 10th try when I was able to beat it. So yeah, it's a nightmarishly hard level, but don't focus on the red. And I think you'll do better than if you do focus on it. And as always, all of you, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.